we can white label our technology, which is our local service ad software to anybody that wants to sell it or resell it. And it's a, it's very powerful. So there's a lot of opportunities here and yeah, I just want you guys to be able to see this. Anything else you want to show Alex? This is it for, for the sign up. Okay. So if that's enabled, they can sign up here. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, this is where they would edit that. And all this is done in the back office, like in the software, you know, it's, it's very simple to do. And then here's the final little button on the left here below the, the gear. And this is the roadmap. This is where you can suggest features that you want to have added or that your clients want to have added. If they say, I oh, mean, Laura, you know, Mauricio, you know, Zyra, you know, I really would like to have this or that or whatever. Well, you can send them a link to this page right here. You can just grab this link, send it to them. They, lo- they got to be logged in. And then they go here and they read the instructions. Preferably, they use some sort of a screencast or screenshot tool like these four that are given here. And you tap here. There's six of them. And then here's where you submit them. I just added this one right here and I added just a photo to it. So you can, you know, you can go in and you can see that hopefully it added, yeah, it added a photo. So I think Grace Justin just, she upticked it. I don't know if she did or something that looks like, yeah, I think she did. So that's what the roadmap is. So I hope that makes sense. So let me go back here and go in as a business. So whenever I want to go and find a business, I just go to the search bar up here on the upper left. And I type in that business, okay? So here's where what it looks like for a business. Now, they have not added a photo. The most important things that you want to see is you want to see the, the frequency. I, I typically will do either weekly or monthly. I take it out of auto and then the time frame. So here's the dashboard that looks at how many calls, whether or not there's an uptick in the calls, total connected calls. You know, is it heading down or is it going up? And by the way, What would you like to see to make this software better? Okay. And we'll make it better. We're not just a service-based company. We are now a software-based company. Simply by our clients using this software and getting value from it as part of our services. Okay. So qualified leads are going down, approved disputes, converted customers. This is where we need to get their data in order to have this auto-populate so that you guys don't have to do this all day long or worry about it in the disposition sheets and all the spreadsheets that we have. We created this from those spreadsheets. All this data is from the spreadsheets. If something's not wrong, the data's not pulling in correctly, let us know, please. Total converted value, here's the LSA response rate. It went down, LSA response rate in less than 30 seconds, which can be different than the regular response rate, okay? And we think that there's actually a better correlation with the 30 second response rate than the regular response rate. Total impressions, total clicks, and total costs. And one of the big benefits, by the way, of our software guys is that we warehouse this data. LSA and the MCC account, you can only look back three months. We can look back forever as long as they've been a client with us. That's a big value, guys. That's a very big selling point of our software, okay? So I'm gonna change this to monthly. It it really can be a telling you know, page here, because this shows you like the total calls now over that whole time period, the whole time period that I just identified, and it's mapping it out monthly. Okay. So this is where you can start getting these really smooth lines and you can start seeing correlations with the data and between the data. Okay. So you can see that the lead volume is hopefully connected to reviews going up. I would like, it would make more sense if this was going up before the lead volume goes up. What happened here, though, I think is there, if I remember correctly or here, was there was a big storm that happened there. And so this really was because of the storms for this for this roofing company. Because when storms come, then roofing goes through the roof. <laughs> Pun intended. All right, so response rate. So response rate, you can see, is going up I would, it would make sense. And this is where I'd love to see the correlation, guys. I'm looking for this correlation. Be on the lookout for it. The response rate is going up that just after the response rate goes up or just after the reviews go up. Okay. The reviews are in blue. Okay. Average response rate is in purple. Okay. The average response rate's going up a little bit here. And so this is, so we're seeing a general trend in the lead volume. 
if you show this to clients, guys, I'm telling you, and we're also seeing reviews go up. This makes, so this explains what's going on here with the data. It helps you guys make your case. It helps you guys make a case for the client that says, man, this is why we need to really pay attention to your response rate. And it helps you explain it and it gives you the data and more importantly, the graphs that correlate the data very easily and visually. If you can show this, then they're gonna want to stay with us because they're gonna see the value of the software because they're the ones that give me the data to help me to know what to do. And they also give me the AI solution that helps me stay at 100% response rate eventually, you know, to solve the ultimate problem, which is response rate, you know? And even with the AI eventually solve the review gathering process because we can make eventually outbound phone calls to get reviews with the AI, which nobody's doing right now. So I hope that makes sense. So that's that. And then here's the impressions data, top impressions uh, data, lead volume. So this is the this is the information on the MCC account that is like the newer data that just came out like three or four months ago that they started showing or maybe longer ago. But it shows the impressions, the top impression rate, the absolute top impressions, this is, you know, you can see that this all should correlate out with the lead volume, but more importantly, clients are just going to want to see this data graphically they're, they're, because they, they've never seen it graphically and they, and they can't, and they can't look back more than three months unless they have our software in the API. And so this is a very big value proposition that we have to be able to show this to the clients, show these correlations and and keep them hopefully longer because they're able to see these correlations and understand, you know, why their lead volumes going up because look at their impressions just went up or their absolute top impressions rate went up, you know, and you can unclick any of these, by the way. Okay. I, I mean, I, I want you to see that you can unclick any of these very simply by just tapping at the bottom here. So top impressions, impressions, total costs I'm taking out. Okay. So this is really what I'd want to see. I want to see what's going on with the apps. Forget top impressions, take it out because it's, that's just showing nothing. Okay. So impressions, absolute top impressions and then lead volume. Look at how it's correlated. Okay. There's that peak right there. So there is obviously a correlation with absolute top impressions and impressions and the overall lead volume. And then here's all of our metrics. Like, look at this. And you can deselect, by the way, everything. You can select none. This is a great suggestion from Aranz, I think. You can just select none and it takes all of them off. And then you can add them one by one, each of these tags. So this is great. This is, this is a, you, know, you can even go down here and you can deselect them like one by one, you know, just down at the bottom if you want as well, like I just showed you. Here's the LSA lead status. You can see the disputes are all shown up in this one little graph right here charge leads with approved disputes. This is awesome. Here's the overall leads. And then here's the reviews, the ad spend by month in these, and then the cost per, per lead by month, et cetera, et cetera. The ad spend per month, cost, average cost per lead, and then cost per acquisition. We would love to have this information if the client gives us that information. That's why it's so important for them to be engaged in using this software because then we can have this data being calculated all the time. And us just going through the software versus giving somebody access to regular Google Sheets feels so much more professional. I mean, it's like, it's just so much more like next level for, a, for an agency to have their own software instead of using a generic Google Sheet. I mean, I think you would all would, would agree with that. And then here's the leads. And you can look at all the leads here. Here's what every single lead, we keep track of it by source. <clears throat> the little phone here, it, or this this one right here is the LSA lead. This is the call rail. And you can see that it's got the charge status. It's got the value. It's got the tags. You can add tags here right in the software by just pressing the plus button and then identifying what tag you want. And then you can do the same thing with the value by just pressing the button there and then adding the value of that lead or the, the client can do that. And it shows you when it's a message lead versus a voice lead. Okay. There, there's your message lead. Hold in the message lead right there. And eventually we can look at sentiment ourselves in our AI 
with these message leads, okay? Reviews, same thing as the agency account, all the different tabs here. Here's the LSA audit. I want you guys to see this. Here's their specific audit that Alex was saying that was run every seven days, I guess, Alex, you said, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So here's here it shows you the number one rank, and then it goes through all the different parameters, and it does it in our automated audit. And you can see, you know, messages, active services, service area, details, all of that is in here. And it and it gives a person, here's gives them some really cool insight. Okay, I'm going to show you in one second. So your profile is okay. It's not that great. It's not an A, it's a B. And here's your rank. You passed for your rank. Google guaranteed passed. Needs work for your, your services. Give it, it gives suggestions, service areas, suggestions used by competitors. Here are some service areas you might want to think about. Needs work for your zip codes and your areas, your counties. Okay. Business hours passed. Last 12 months, number of reviews passed. It gives a you know a general idea. And one of the things that we're looking at is, is how consistently are they doing it over the last six weeks? Are they getting a review every week? That's the key. And Alex is going to build that into the system eventually as well, because it's the consistency of the reviews that matters. It's not the, the star rating or the number of reviews. It really, as everybody knows, it's are they getting at least a review, hopefully at least two reviews per week, okay? And then here's the testing. There is a testing suite, okay? This is where somebody would test their AI. This is where somebody can test that prompt and they can put a message in here. They can use a different model, okay? They can use either the the base model, the enhanced or the turbo version of our solution. And then the language, English, French, Spanish, Polish, Portuguese, and then prompt. Here's the prompt. So when you put the prompt in here that you want to test, you send a message, and then you see how the prompt responds. And if you don't like it, you take away the message, and then you go back to the prompt, change it, and then you send another message and see if it if it responds differently. That's how you use this testing suite, okay? It's a very powerful tool. So here's the user, same thing as you saw in the agency version, and then here's the settings. So here's where somebody changes their profile, adds their, or changes their password, edits their profile, edits the integrations, okay? And then tweaks their notifications and then their license, okay? So notifications is great, okay? Because when certain things happen, they can actually change their notifications and get notifications via email or SMS. And what's really cool is you can enter as many email addresses to get notifications as you want. And you can receive a notification when a call has booked in your calendar versus AI calls or SMS. And then LSA license and insurance, send a notification when a license or insurance expires. Guys, this is very powerful because I know that right now we don't, this is the only way that you would get a notification, you know, to be notified. So I would turn this on for all of your clients to have you, uh, you know, be notified as well, potentially when the license or insurance expires. Okay. And you might even want to have yourself get notified in the beginning when there's a call booked via AI. And you can do that via SMS or email as well for a little while. And then you can take yourself out. If there's a missed call, this is another thing you could do. You could add yourself to, to this notification as well so that you're notified. And so that you can follow up with that lead or that prospect. So they know that you're like on it, that you're not just sitting there, that you really care about their account. And then a new AI lead, receive a notification that for every incoming AI lead. All you have to do is just toggle this to on and then that functionality will be turned on and wherever you want to have the emails to go, that's where you, you put in the additional emails here. Okay. And then same thing with SMS, add to the phone numbers that you want. And then all the same options are down here. So that's for notifications. And then the license, here's the licensing section. This keeps track of all of the license verification process stuff that's going on. Okay. All in one place. So you can see, you know, the case you can, I think this is actually going to link to the case. Yeah, it does. Okay. There you go. So notifications and then integration. So here's the integrations. They can connect their Google ads account, their Google calendar so that their calendar can be booked whenever the AI, if that's the outcome that they want, they can connect their call rail. And so those are the four options for connections. And then 
like I said, here's all the options. Here's the phone number they're using. And here's, you can, you can give the phone number a, uh, a name. There's a call prompt. Okay. And then there is a SMS prompt. Okay. Call and SMS prompt. And then here's the advanced settings down here. And there's all different types of settings down here for the AI is enhanced, turbo, GPT-4. And then you can identify where the calls are going to go through, go to sales, billing, support. And then you guys can read all this other information down here as, for, as far as the latency, waiting for, you know, the greeting, first sentence. So with that, I mean, I'll let you guys, you know, be able to go in there and read all that. So the simple solution and the LSA software will help them manage their account. It'll keep a permanent history of all their data, not just three months back. And it helps them to see the correlations with the data so that they know what to do and how to make decisions better. And the AI will solve the number one problem. It'll And it will help their, them with their conversion rate. Because if the calls are answered, we know from the Harvard study that I refer to a lot that it improves the conversion rate by about sevenfold if a call is answered within minutes versus within an hour. So even if that's an AI, so that's really it.